This is a construction update for the week of June 17th, provided by the City of Somerville and read by Somerville Media Center. Improvement Projects Beacon Street Reconstruction During the week of June 17th, as weather permits, 26 more trees will be planted on Beacon Street, along with shrubs and ground cover plants. Newport plans to install curb and conduit on the odd side of Beacon Street between Concord Ave and the project limit at the Cambridge Line. Then they'll place concrete for new sidewalks in that same stretch. Additional crews may be on site finishing up masonry work and laying out the new cycle track. More details on bike lane installation to come when it's confirmed. Please expect crews to work extended hours as needed, including weekday evenings and Saturdays from 8.30 a.m. into the afternoon. Green Line Extension During the week of June 17th, GLX constructors will continue hauling material in and out of the rail corridor and installing drainage. Check out somervillema.gov slash shuttle to learn about the Bridge Hopper, the city's free shuttle service offered weekdays during GLX bridge closers. In recent news, the Broadway route now offers four stops, and you can download a mobile app to track each shuttle's location. Search Bridge Hopper in your smartphone's app store. Pearl Street Water Main Upgrades During the week of June 17th, Ducon expects to replace the water main at the Pearl Street slash Pickney Street intersection. They'll also remove temporary water pipes and repave open excavations between Cross Street and Mount Vernon Street. Somerville Ave Utility and Streetscape Improvements As we continue to transition out of the Dane Street detour, regular MBTA bus service will resume in Union Square on Route 87 inbound starting Saturday, June 15th, and Route 85 inbound starting Monday, June 17th. Temporary service on Dane Street and Washington Street will be discontinued. Please see the MBTA website for service advisories. The next traffic diversion starts Monday, June 24th for an estimated three months. During work hours, weekdays from 7 a.m. to approximately 3 p.m., eastbound traffic, including MBTA buses, will be slightly rerouted via Webster Ave and Prospect Street. That will allow crews to install the next portion of the box culvert drainage infrastructure near the Somerville Media Center building. For the duration of this next phase, one MBTA stop will be temporarily relocated. The Somerville Ave at Prospect Stop, outside Mandarin Restaurant, servicing routes 85, 86, and 91 outbound, and Route 87 inbound will close. A temporary stop for those same riders will be established at the corner of Prospect Street and Bennett Court at an existing Route CT2 stop. This change in service will be in effect 24-7. During the week of June 17th, Barletta will continue a variety of work on Bow Street, just west of Stone Ave. Northbound traffic on Webster Ave will still need to turn at the Washington Street slash Somerville Ave intersection until that work is finished, an estimated one month. Another crew plans to test pit near the Medford Street intersection. Please see the Detours tab on the project website for a summary of the traffic impacts described here. Maps should be available soon. Somerville High School Building Project. Phase two of this project, which includes renovating and expanding the E building in front of the gym, begins June 17th. Suffolk will establish a new work zone around the eastern half of campus, extending south to Highland Ave and east up to the Central Library. To support phase two construction, at least through the fall of this year, the driveway entrance opposite Vinyl Ave will be closed. Instead, the one-way exit near Central Library will be converted to accommodate two-way traffic. Modified parking will continue to be available, and access to the Central Hill playgrounds will be maintained. Another milestone of note, structural steel installation is expected to begin at the Western New Building this week. Keep an eye on the project website to watch the progress in almost real time. At the Eastern Building, interior abatement and demo will begin on the first, second, and third floors of the E Building. New decking will also be installed on the gym roof. Weather and schedules permitting, the next round of tree removals is anticipated to move forward during the week of June 17th. Pavement and Sidewalk Management Program. Starting on or around Friday, June 21st, Contractors will mill Powderhouse Boulevard from Burnham Street 
progressing to Alewife Brook Parkway. Milling should take two to three days, and final paving is expected soon after. As logistics are finalized, abutters will receive more information via flyers and the city's alert system. During the week of June 17th, contractors also plan to reconstruct sidewalks on Smith Ave and Proper Z Way. Next on the list is Medford Street, Partridge Ave to School Street. Additional utility work. Utility companies are responsible for notifying residents prior to conducting any work, but we expect parking restrictions and lane shifts due to the following utility work this week. Detail officers may close a road if deemed necessary for safety. Eversource Gas, Cherry Street, Chester Ave, Hillside Park, Preston Road, Upland Road, National Grid, Brook Street. This construction update was provided by the City of Somerville and read by Somerville Media Center. For the latest information, visit www.somervillema.gov detours.